Hi my creative peeps, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. And this week we are playing with the Ornate Garden Suite. And I'm using the um, Designer Series paper, which is in the new catalog. Are you loving the new catalog? I know I am. I ordered, um, yesterday was the first day we could order and I got a good size order in so I can start creating to share some new projects with you guys. Um, if you are looking for a catalog, I did want to mention, and you don't have a demonstrator, um, please private message me or, or um, in my blog post, there's links to ordering with me online um, and I can get you a catalog. I would love to share some craftiness with you. So anyway, we're using this ornate garden. This is the paper, gorgeous paper. And then we're also using the ornate layers dies. And I just wanted to show you guys these because these are absolutely amazing. So there's all kinds of border dies. There's even, even a couple little borders, um, but lo lots of frames. And then there's one solid stitched rectangle that fits in like that one or if you're doing a bunch of layers. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna be making a fun little basket. Um, I call it a treat basket. And we're gonna need our paper trimmer. So let's get this all set up here. <clears throat> and first we want um, a couple things. I am using the terracotta tile cardstock and then I'm also going to be using some of that designer series paper. Um, this cardstock is cut six by six. There's six squares cut one by three and sorry, one by three fourths. Then I also did that stitched rectangle die and then I did the border inside it. We're also using um, this mini punch, the daisies. Um, and I cut four daisies out of Daffodil Delight. And then I also have a designer series piece of paper that is um, three eighths by seven and then cardstock that is a half inch by seven. And then I'm gonna need a scrap piece cause we're gonna be using also the classic label punch to do a sentiment. And I'm bringing in the terracotta tile um, stamp and ink. So first we need to go ahead and score our six by six piece of paper. And you wanna score this at two inches on all four sides. So we're just gonna put it in. Two, score, two, score, two, score. <clears throat> If you were making a bunch of these, you could make four out of one six by, or sorry, four out of one 12 by 12 piece of paper. Or um, you could just make one and use an eight and a half by 11 or whatever piece you have. Okay, so now I'm gonna burnish all of my score lines. And what the burnishing does is it breaks down the fibers in the cardstock and gives you a nice crisp, edge okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our adhesive and we're gonna bring in these six one and three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch squares and you're going to put <clears throat> one on each of the four corners and then one in each of the middle section. So I'm just gonna layer these nice and centered into those squares. And actually I should add, we're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna put them on the two middle sections. Sorry. Okay. 
And it doesn't matter which middle sections you pick, if you pick these two or these two, I'll show you how to cut your paper so that you're cutting it correctly. While we also have the glue out, I'm gonna layer the two skinny strips together. So I'm gonna set this aside for a moment and I'm gonna layer my designer series paper right on top of this one. This paper is so gorgeous. It's got like gold foiling on the back. So it's hard to pick which side you wanna play with. Okay, wanted to get that nice and glued down so that could rest. So I'm going to just run my bone folder across it just like that. Okay, now we're going to take our bone, our bone, our paper snips. And what you want to do is you're going to cut up these score lines to that first score line. on two, the two sides here. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to attach them like this so that you have a basket. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of glue here and I'm gonna go about halfway to the middle same thing on this one. I'm going to add a half, a little bit of glue in the corner there. And I'm going to go about halfway there as well. Hold that for just a moment. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Add a little bit of glue in that corner. Go about halfway over. Add a little bit of glue here in the corner and go about halfway over. I'm gonna kind of, this one seems like I did it too far over there. That looks better. So you kind of got to gauge from your other side how far you want to come over. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for just a moment. Now I'm gonna take the piece, which is gonna be our handle, and I'm gonna run my bone folder on the back edge, just like this, and give it a little bit of a swirl. Then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glue on the edge there, and glue it right in the middle. And then I'm gonna put a clip there. Hold on just a second to hold it in place so that we can do our other side. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this end and put that right in the middle as well. And I'm gonna add a clip there for just a moment so that that holds it in place. While that's gluing, we are gonna take our daisies. <clears throat> And we are also going to take our piercing mat. I'm going to show you a fun trick. And you're going to place these all on your piercing mat. You're going to take a pencil that has an eraser. And you're just going to push down in the middle. Just like that, so it gives some dimension to your flowers. Then we are going to take mini dimensionals. And I'm going to layer two together. So put a dimensional down, and then I'm gonna layer the two together, like that. Put a dimensional right in the center. And 
and then add this one as well. Okay. Next, what I want to do is I'm going to bring in my in color enamel or sorry, faceted dots, and I'm going to use the terracotta tile. And I'm going to use the medium ones, and I'm going to put one right in the center of those flowers, just like that. And then I kind of press down on them, make sure that the faceted dot is nice and attached. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my little clips off and I'm going to add a little bit of glue and glue these right down into the center, just like this. While that's drying for a moment, I'm gonna take my scrap of Daffodil Delight, my terracotta tile stamping ink, and I'm going to stamp a sentiment here from that set. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do your amazing. if I can find it here. I should have a piece of white cardstock so it's easier to read. There we go. Okay, where's the amazing? Oh, there it is. You're amazing. So I'm gonna line that up, get it on my block. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it down in my terracotta tile ink. Stamp it right in the center there. Hmm. I'm gonna flip that over. There's a dot on there or something. Let's try it one more time. I might have rocked it. There, that's better. Okay. Now, we're gonna punch that out with our classic label punch. I'm just gonna wipe this off really quick so I can put it away. Okay, take my classic label punch. Make sure it's in the window. Punch it out. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little, um, a little hole trying to think of where I want the hole though. Hmm. I'm going to do it in the G section. There we go. And then I'm taking some of our linen thread. I'm going to thread that through there. And then I'm going to thread it through the piece that we did on the old olive and did the border die through. And then I'm going to just tie it onto my handle. Make sure it's facing the right way. Oh, 
Oops. Yeah. You pulled the wrong one. Okay. That's that one. And then we need to pull this edge. And when you're doing the twine, you want to hold the center of the twine down or your bow so that it doesn't um, lose its shape. So that's our project for today, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed following me using this um, suite of product. If you have any questions, you can always message me. Reminder, follow my blog. All the dimensions for these projects are um, posted there. And until next week, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for following me. And um, if you like what you see, subscribe by clicking the little red button there and then bell. Okay, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next week.